है फॉक्स अली रजा फ्राम फिजियोथेरेपी रिहेबलीटेशन अकेडमी पाकिस्तान वी आर बैक विद केस स्टडी एंड इट्स रिलेटेड विद इंटेंसिव केयर फिजियोथेरेपी आई सी पी एंड पेशेंट फ्राम आई सी यू इंटेंसिव केयर यूनट आर इंटेंसिव केयर थेरेपी यून सो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अगेन एंड दिस केस इज रिलेटेड विद द कोर्स वी आर ऑलरेडी doing and on this weekend we will upload a last lecture of this course and after that we will announce the final test uh, of intensive care physiotherapy course uh, which was introduced uh, by me and hopefully you guys uh, got more information and we are going to discuss a case related with the icp so a 50 year old male patient rta road traffic accident patient unconscious lying on the bed on examination patient is found on oxygen support via endotracheal intubation the endotracheal uh, tube the insertion of tube the process is called intubation endotracheal tube so we insert a tube from mouth to the windpipe so that the patient got oxygenated and will provide medicine anesthesia via this pathway the endotracheal tube uh, the process is called intubation the patient on the vent on cmv mode and we will discuss an other lecture on what is ventilator and we will discuss a different modes of ventilator and cmv is one of them and the gcs of patient we found 2 of 10 the total gcs count is 15 and here the patient is already on the endotracheal tube so we will uh, exclude the verbal response which is the five grades and we will count out of 10 four i response and six motor response so we will count from 10 so we found the i response grade 1 and motor response grade 1 so the patient total gcs is 2 out of 10 which is very critical condition and the size of pupil will examine the patient the pupil size the right side constructed right side i constructed the 2 mm and the left eye mid dilated and we will examine the patient vitals which is Uh, blood pressure 126 by 72 mmhg which is quite normal in this case the patient is on vent on uh, endotracheal tube so this blood pressure is quite normal the pulse is 99 beats per minute and the temperature is normal the respiratory rate is 18 uh, breaths per minute which is also normal saturation is 98 uh, quite normal and the on examination the chest we found uh, abnormal sounds uh, crackle sounds and the abdomen examined hardness found it the rb s 113 uh, mg by dl the on examination cvs uh, chest uh, heart sounds s1 and s2 audible and normal uh, what should be the physiotherapy treatment for this patient in this case so uh, as the uh, mentioned here the chest sounds found it and we will start the chest physiotherapy and we will start the percussions with shaking and vibration we will make this uh, not aggressive as we will examine the patient vital before uh, starting the treatment and uh, after the treatment we will examine the vitals of the patient so that the vitals uh, not got affected with the treatment and we will start chest suctioning with nebulizing the patient and with this way the treatment chest rehabilitation uh, is uh, effective and the patient will be benefited and will start a limb physiotherapy uh, will give the stocking to the patient to prevent from dvt and thrombosis and will start giving ankle pumping and we'll make sure the patient vitals are stable 
and will not uh, aggressively treat the patient uh, which might uh, got affect the patient and will start giving passive range of motions of upper and lower limb according to the condition of the patient so we must examine the vitals and uh, the physical examination of patient and we will examine the chest sounds via uh, stethoscope and if the patient uh, has abnormal vitals we make sure to stop a rehabilitation right away and we will wait for the vitals get normalized and then after that we will again uh, start the treatment that's all for today's lecture and please subscribe my channel share with your friends hope you have a great Wednesday Take care, love face.